What is social selling? Social selling is having a conversation online, intending to develop targeted relationships. It's the art of using social media to find, connect with, and understand and nurture potential customers, to deepen your understanding and relationship with existing customers. It's the modern way of developing meaningful relationships with potential customers. So you become the first person or brand that the buyer thinks of when they are ready to buy. Social selling is not what the name suggests. It is not selling at all. It's not broadcasting or bombarding irrelevant sales material or social media posts to your entire list of connections, hoping that something will stick. <laughs> this only destroys your brand and erodes trust along with your credibility. It is listening for clues and adding value to your current conversations or starting a conversation always to add value. As a seller or entrepreneur or business owner, why bother with social selling? 87% of B2B buyers said that they would have a favorable impression of someone introduced to them through their social professional networks. 76 or 78% of salespeople engaged on social selling and uh, at really outsold those peers who were not. 39% of B2B professionals said that social tools reduce the amount of time they spent researching accounts and contacting key people. 31% of B2B professionals say that social selling tools allow them to deepen the relationships with their clients. So there's lots of good reasons why you need to use this. So what is social buying? Buyers and potential clients are using social listening, social search to find prospective suppliers and trusted advisors. They research for these people online. And if you're one of them, you need to be online. And from what they see, they develop an opinion about which or who is the best fit for their needs. And all of this is before making the first contact with the sales professional or advisor. Now, 91% of B2B buyers are active on social media. And on average, customers are 57% of the way through the purchasing process before they engage with sales professionals or advisors. 77% of B2B buyers said they did not talk with a salesperson until they had performed independent research. 75% of B2B buyers and 84% of executives use social media, that's their contacts and the information they find, to make purchasing decisions. 76% of buyers are ready to have a social media conversation with potential providers. That's interesting. 62% of B2B buyers respond to salespeople who connect with them with shared insights or opportunities that are relevant to their business. And 92% of B2B buyers are willing to engage with sales professionals or advisors who are known within the industry as experts or thought leaders. Now, I'm speaking at Accountex on Thursday, the 2nd of May, six ways to scale your sales. And one of these is getting found, showing up online. Now, remember, almost 100% of your customers are online, searching for solutions to their problems. And if you're not showing up online in their research, you cannot engage and you're gonna miss out on opportunities. 
Another talking point is building your reputation online because that's where they're searching for you. Your online status is established by consistently posting thoughtful, relevant content on social media. There is so much talk about being authentic, but building trust is really important and demonstrating real value. And for this reason, I do not believe in completely outsourcing your social selling or your social engagement on social media. You know, I often connect with people when I'm speaking on stage or, you know, people that I'm going to uh, have a conversation with. And I remember once I continued the engagement and connection I had with this particular speaker. When I met them in person, they completely blanked me. They didn't know what I was talking about. And they said, oh, I don't do my social media. Now, imagine if this was a buyer or a customer or influencer. Do you think that they will continue to engage with you and trust you? No, they wouldn't, because you feel betrayed. Now, social selling in practice, it takes monitoring of relevant groups to you, social listening and liking other people's posts, like the key influencers and buyers and customers, and popping up on their timeline. This is along with creating your own posts, articles and videos. There's many ways to do it. It's about being relevant, newsworthy with current events, but also consistently posting relevant messages to the groups or the people at opportune moments. It's a source of gaining new connections and researching companies, making connections, nurturing the ones you know along the journey using multi-channel out outreach to engage fully. You know, the bottom line, social selling, or you may call it digital marketing, is a proven method to successfully build influence that allows you to achieve your objectives indirectly. B2B is P2P, people to people, and therefore it works. The fact is, those who engage are re regularly online sell more than those that don't. So it works. It's got to be part of key account development. And this is why I talk about it. I talk and teach selling is not to sell, broadcast or bombard. However, let's be clear, social selling takes energy and effort to build a network and sustain it over a period of time. Now, I'm a global social business influencer because I have consistently engaged online for over five years with a consistent message to businesses. Now, there are many apps and shortcut strategies available now that weren't available five years ago. And dependent on your objectives, it's so much easier for you to become a social influencer. It doesn't take years to make an impression or create a difference. Now, if you like this, please check out the blog accompanying this video where you'll see all of the statistical resources that I use to create it. It's on Scale Your Sales blog. Thank you for joining me.